Today, we're gonna to be going over Joomla modules. This video is part of a four step series where we're gonna look into the Joomla modules, components, extensions, and how positions work. So here are some of the videos shown on screen. You may see them at the end of the video if they're up in time. If not, stay tuned, hit the subscribe, and they'll be up very soon. In this video, we're gonna be covering five sections of Joomla modules. I'm gonna to explain to you what Joomla modules are, where to find them, how to override a Joomla module, how to place a Joomla module anywhere on your website, and I'm gonna show you how to place a module inside one of your articles. So to begin, I'm gonna give you an overview of what a Joomla module is. A Joomla module is a piece of code that will add functionality to your website or additional functionality. This could be anything from a contact form, a complex gallery, or even a social share button. Joomla modules, to put simply, are kind of the equivalent to what you would find in WordPress where you have widgets. With Joomla modules, you can basically add any functionality really quickly to any of your websites, um, any custom code, custom forms, basically anything you need that's gonna help you achieve what you need to with your site. All right, so as you can see here, I've set up a Joomla instance on my local host, which means we pretty much can do anything without destroying any of the web server, which is great. Um, what we're gonna do now is basically show you where the modules can be found in Joomla. So if you log into here, into your admin area, we've just got our username test, and test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so I think, yes. Where you're gonna find modules in this dashboard, basically two places. Well, they're in one place, but there's gonna be two different ways to get there. So you can have the Joomla modules here on your dashboard. Now, basically you can just click that and you should go straight to them. Now, in here you will see a list of your modules. Uh, this one here is just based on the template I have installed, so I'm, for this I'm using uh, Gantry. These are the positions that they sit in. Um, you'll be able to see those in later videos or in the position video if you want to learn more about that. Uh, these are breadcrumbs, menus, login form, which are all default uh, modules that Joomla has. The other way you can do it, if we just go back to the dashboard here, and you would have seen it before, is on your sidebar, you can go into content, and down the bottom you have site modules. Now also in site modules, we have two areas where you can put modules. So we have the site and the administrator. Any module that you have on the site is what's gonna appear on the front end of your website. And any module you have on the admin will appear basically here if you want to put it on your toolbar. As an example, if we change this, you're gonna see all of the modules that are there for your admin area. All right, so we're gonna go inside one of these modules just so we can have a quick look about what they look like on the inside, generally what they have. Uh, you'll see here we have the the main module. So any field or anything that's editable for that module will be found in this first tab. All modules will have a menu assignment tab. Now within this tab, you can find that um, you're gonna be able to choose which pages that you want the module to appear on. So for this example here, we've got on all pages, no pages, only a few selected pages, and on all existing, on all pages except the ones selected. So if you want a module that's gonna be on every page except the home page, then you can do that and you can just say not the home page. Uh, we will just go back, for the point of this, we will just keep it on all pages, and we will save and close that. Uh, the advanced options, these are more used for developers, so this is where you can add separate classes to your modules. So if you do want them styled differently, then that's where it would be. You'd put a class in there and then change the styling based on the class. Uh, the layout is generally if you do any overrides, which we will be discussing later on in this video. Case time, uh, the default tags for the headings and everything, it's all here. So. Most normal, uh, most business people or people managing the site won't need to use this tab. The permissions, I wouldn't worry about too much. These are really only if you're going to be managing different users you accessing the modules within the site. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to insert modules into a position. 
Now, if you aren't familiar with positions, then what you should do is look at this video here on screen. It will come out very soon if it's not out already. Um, this is going to pretty much explain to you how positions work, how to figure out where your positions are, and how to use them. Most modules will have on the sidebar an area called position. Basically, this drop down will pull in, pull in all the positions that are available on either your theme or any other active theme. So what I've just done then is I've gone ahead and added a few extra positions to the website. So as you can see here under G5, because we're using Gantry template, we've gone and added a breadcrumb position and another position. So again, if you want to see how the structure of um, Again, if you want to see how the structure of these positions work, then do go watch the other video because it's going to give you a huge understanding of how exactly the websites work. Because we are in the breadcrumb module, we're basically going to go and put the breadcrumb in the breadcrumb position that I created. So if you save that and we go back to your homepage here, currently the position should sit near the top of the page. So if I refresh that, you'll see that now the module for breadcrumbs has appeared. Now I've also added another position that sits just below the breadcrumbs. So we're going to go back here and I'm going to show you how to create a new um, module and put it into the position. Alright, so up the top here we've got a little thing called new. So what we want to do is click that. These are all the default modules that are already installed in um, Joomla. Now, it can be a bit overwhelming, but realistically, most people will only be using things like the, the custom, the breadcrumbs, menu, or potentially an article archive, article categories, article categories, latest categories, newsflash. So one of these. Um, they, they all work very differently, but yeah, for this example, what we're going to do is use the custom. So the custom module is just a place where you can pretty much use an editor and put anything you want there. It's super handy, super easy, and this is basically how you do it. So if we go new position text, and we're going to call this um, below bread crumbs. You can really name these whatever you want. Um, I'm going to click don't show title. Uh, and what we're going to want to do, the position should automatically set to all pages. So we're going to want to save and close that. I forgot to put a position on it. So under Gantry again, I've created another position called another position. Uh, save and close that. Refresh. And there it is. If you've made it this far in the video, I just want to give you a quick thanks. If you have found any of this information useful and you want to support my channel, all I'm asking is that you give the like button a boot. Subscribe if you want to learn more about business website strategies. If you want to learn more about Joomla, SEO, or even extensions that can help you increase your productivity, then I'd really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Okay, so now that you guys have an understanding of how to add articles to your website and where to put them position-wise, I'm going to go ahead and show you basically how to add these into an article on your website. All right, so first thing you what you're going to want to do is go into your articles here. So we got the home page here. Currently, we have no content in this page, but if we want, we can just insert some basic text or whatever you want. So we may have decided that midway through this page, we're going to want to add one of your modules. This can be a contact form or anything that you want so basically what you can do here is click under this CMS content and scroll down to where we have modules so basically what's going to pop up is all the modules you have and there's actually two ways you can do this one is very easy and very exciting and the other just kind of works you can create yourself a custom position and you can either insert a module using a position or you can insert it directly using the ID. So I'm going to show you both ways here. We're going to put the breadcrumbs in there. Now, I clicked the first box, so what happened is it entered load module ID with the ID, which is 110. 
and below that we're going to then again add another module and we're going to put in we're going to put in a login form and we're going to use it where it's going to pull in sidebar right so sidebar right isn't actually a position in this in our template it's one of the default position sets and one of the main themes of Joomla 4. Uh, so if we quickly save and close that, uh, go back to our home page, currently there's nothing there, hit refresh and all of a sudden we've got the home page content. Now as you can see here we've got new new position text, so that's the first one we added and that was the one we added via an ID and then we've got the login form which has appeared here. Um, because we've inserted that using the position. Now the cool thing with using the position is if we go back to the site modules and we want to add another one, we know that the login form is on the login uh, module. So we quickly add another custom module and we're just going to quickly call it test and go below login and we're going to go and change the position here to login. Now it will say no match, but if you press enter, you can enter a position without needing to worry about it. Click save and close and go back to your home page. My mistake, sorry. Uh, the position is not called login, it is called sidebar right. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. Uh, sidebar right. But still, you can add your own positions by typing them in and pressing enter. Uh, save and close that. Go back to your home page, refresh, and okay. It went above, but what you can do is there's a little click thing up here. And if you click that, then you can order your new test module and drag and drop it below. That way it should change the ordering all right, the final step that I'm going to show you is getting a bit more complicated. So this one is really only for developers and people who want to code um, or override modules themselves. If we open the Joomla folder, and what we're going to do is we're going to navigate into um, our modules. Now, modules are found under the base directory of Joomla. If you click into this and we go and find module custom, what we're going to do is click control C on that, go under the templates gantry and under your HTML folder. Now if we paste that in there and we change, take this out of there and just put that back there, oh. sorry, that was dumb of me, I deleted it. Okay, so we don't need all this, we only need the default.php. We're able to now change this name to something else. Um, this is showing you how to override the custom module and we're just gonna say, we'll, we'll just call it custom. Now, I've just opened this here in a um, text editor. Now, basically this is the code that runs the module. So if we wanted to say, add a title or something else, uh, an H2 and go test override and save that. Basically what will happen is nothing. So what you can do now is if we go back under our contents, uh, site modules, choose one of our custom ones. So again, we've only overwritten um, the type custom. So we've got two custom modules here. And if we go into our test one, under advanced, we can then select the custom template from our theme. So because we're using Gantry 5 and we created the custom one, we can put that there, save and close. Uh, this is the module that appears here, and I believe down here, yeah. So if I refresh that, you should see a new H2 tag saying test override. Uh, this also means that we can completely edit this code, use it for anything, if you want to add a separate um, or your own code in there that does its own thing. That's what it's there for. Yeah, and that's how you pretty much override a module in Joomla. Again, thank you for watching through the video. If you've made it to the end, that's great. Uh, if you are wanting to learn more, what I would do is click on one of these two videos here. They're even gonna show you the recommended video or the next, which should be one of the four in the sequence of tutorials we're doing to help you guys better understand 
Jumla. 